Hi, my name is Linda Wilker. I'm an exhibit manager of the 1885 Train Depot Museum. This museum was built here on this location in 1885. It's, it's the same building and uh, it is now a, a museum. When people come to visit the museum, uh, they learn a lot about Hernando County history, railroad history, and Florida history. Our time frame is from about 1885 up to the 1970s when the railroad stopped using this as a train depot. Um, we talk about the Seminole Indian Wars, we talked about the development of industry in Hernando County, and also the early settlers, and uh, even a few modern things. This is the freight room. If you notice the floor, the floor is an original floor that was put down here in 1885. We have a cracker kitchen and a, a, a cabin that early settlers would have lived in. We have model trains. This model train display has uh, buildings in it that uh, are in downtown to this day that you can see them in downtown Brooksville. We have a display of the earliest settler. His uh, homestead was excavated, and we have artifacts from uh, an 1842 homestead. Um, when we leave the freight room, we go out to the dock in the back. It was an open dock. It's been had a fence put around it now just to make more museum. But it is the original 1885 floor as well. We have farm equipment out there. We have a 1925 fire engine, the first fire engine Brooksville ever bought. And we do allow children to sit in the seat and get their picture taken. There is a 1880s train car that was used for cooking and storage and things like that for the cruise, for railroad crews and we was abandoned in the green swamp by the railroad. Our president at the time got it hauled in by the Wissacoochee River Company and they uh, had to restore it. it. took a lot of restoration to get it in good enough shape to have visitors. Uh, we do have um, a coal burning stove out there in the kitchen set up as if it would be a man in there cooking three meals a day for the train crew. Uh, right now we are open Friday and Saturdays uh, from noon to three. The cost is five dollars for adults and two dollars for children six to twelve. However, December 1st the prices are going up. It will be eight dollars for adults and five dollars for kids. So come visit now while the price is cheaper. And we do need volunteers so we can be open more than two days a week. If you're interested in volunteering, please contact me, Linda Welker, at the Train Depot Museum. We would love to have you.